welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator 24. Nowadays, I'm exploring uh, the Vision Jet G2 and in this regard, I'm making a series of videos for the beginners so that I can just break down all the information related to your flight into different videos. So that's it's easy for you to look for a specific information on my channel. Before this, I've uploaded videos in which I've shown you how to start this plane from the cold and dark state, how to fly this plane on autopilot and how to perform an eyeless approach and landing. Now, mostly the comments that I'm getting uh, on the videos are related to the career mode. And obviously, uh, you cannot import the flight plan from the electronic flight pack. And if you do that, there is an issue. So if you are flying this plane in the career mode, there are times when you have to manually enter the flight plan in uh, the FMS of this plane. So now in this video, I will show you how you will do it. Just press uh, Shift 3 and you will get this view. Now I have made a, a flight plan uh, in the Microsoft flight planner. You can just import that flight plan. Um, it was this one. I will be doing this uh, flight from Heathrow to Manchester as in the previous videos I've done that. So I'm just uh, using the same route because it's got uh, many waypoints. So you will see how I will enter them. Now related to the flight planning, um, I already have a video in which I've covered the flight planning part in the Microsoft Flight Planner, which is uh, a web-based uh, flight planner. So um, if you're not really familiar with that process, I will give you the link in the description. You can just follow it and you can just go and watch how to make a flight plan over there. Now I'm just going to load this flight plan in the FMS. Now, if you go to the middle screen, just make sure that you don't have this screen. You have the multifunction display, MFT. Now over here, you will see this option flight plan. And all you have to do is this, add the origin, the destination, and the waypoints. So first of all, I will add the origin. That will be EGLL, Heathrow. Just press enter. And then you have to enter the waypoints. But before this, if I click it, you will see that I can remove this waypoint. I can insert before or insert after. And I can also get the waypoint info. Another thing, I can also get the procedure for the departure, for the arrival and for the approach. So now as I have Heathrow as the origin, I can just uh, get the departure. And uh, now you can see uh, currently, I think runway 9 left is being used. That's why it's showing up over here, but you can just change it. So I can change the departure. Just scroll from here and uh, you will see the departure is UMLA1F. So this is the one, just select it. And it will take you to this point Omlat and it's runway 27 right. So it's there. You can even preview it. If I show it on map, then you will see this whole complete procedure over here. If you click this option full, it will show on the full screen. So this is the procedure that you have. I can just uh, keep it like this. Okay, now I will just turn it off and uh, let me also change the zoom level over here on the map because as soon as I will make this flight plan, you will see that this flight plan will appear over here. That's it. Now, this is the sequence for the departure. Uh, you will take off from runway 27 ride, then you will go to this point, this point, this point, and finally to Omlat. And uh, all you can do is this just simply load it. Now this flight plan is there and you have loaded it. Actually, I haven't <laughs> followed all the procedures for the startup. That's why you're seeing these errors, but you can just ignore them. Now just go down and after Omlat, now you will see that we have a point Wuben. So just, uh, sorry, uh, add end route waypoint. So And just press enter. Add another waypoint. Add another waypoint, aka UPA. You can scroll down, add end root waypoint. T-I-M-P-O. Just 
just press enter and another one Elmos just press enter and then you can select done now you cannot enter the more waypoints so it's done you have just clicked it and if you want you can just go to this option and then you can also select this option insert waypoint if you want to add but we have added all the waypoints now just select the destination which will be Manchester and uh, press enter that's it now go to the procedure and first of all uh, you can select even arrival or you can select approach whatever you want let's go with the arrival so arrival procedure is elvo 1 m for runway 23 right ILS so right now runway 5 left is selected I can change the runway 23 right and then this is the arrival as you can see it's over here just selected and the runway 23 right transition there is no so let's uh, enter this load that's it now you have uh, all the uh, procedure for the arrival now after this point Dane if I just look at the flight plan you will see that uh, after Dane the plane is actually going to this uh, VR MCT so this is the procedure for the approach so let's uh, go back and uh, select the procedure for the approach so ILS uh, 23 right transition is vectors so uh, if you select vectors then actually you have to wait for the ATC to give you the heading so don't select this just select MCT if you just want to have a smooth plane <laughs> a complete flight plan so just select this and uh, that's it and uh, just load so you can get this error just get rid of it and that's it now you have the flight plan and that's it so the plane will take off from Heathrow and it will go all the way to Manchester so that's how you do it and uh, let's see if you want to delete any waypoint you can can you do this so let's say if you want to delete it you can click this waypoint and uh, you can just remove it you can insert before insert after and uh, you can also fly directly towards it so let's say I want to skip all the waypoints during the flight and I want to go directly to Dane so simply just go over here in this option in the flight and just click this then you can also hold at this waypoint and you can get the waypoint information now you can get the GPS coordinates the heading and the distance and everything it's there and if you want to change the procedure anytime you can just do this just go over here change the runway or sorry uh, change the uh, departure and then you can get the runway now if you want to remove it you can also remove it, remove, remove it from here now, okay that's it so you can go to this uh, flight plan options as well you can uh, show it on the map it will show you the flight plan over here and then if you want to delete the flight plan altogether the whole flight plan you can just do that that's it so hopefully now after watching this video you will be able to enter the flight plan in the FMS of this plane and uh, plus uh, you know how to change the procedures you can uh, one more thing I just saw this option procedures you can also go directly to to the procedures from here uh, you can also go to the procedures from this option or from this option and you can change it and uh, now you're also looking at two more options activate approach and activate uh, vectors to final so if you activate this the plane will actually go directly towards the final approach fix um, which is like almost six or eight uh, nautical miles before the runway this will directly take you over there and uh, for the approach it will then just take you to M city and you will go through the whole approach procedure which is mentioned over here preview show on map and that's it so this is the approach procedure so if you activate approach it will take you here and if you activate 
final approach, then it will take you. Uh, I think to this point, maybe, yes. You can check it in the flight plan. All the constraints are there, the flight levels are there, and uh, that's it. So, I hope uh, now you will be able to enter the flight plan um, over here in the FMS. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comment section. Or if you want to add uh, anything to this video, you can do that. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.